admit my craze for luxury boats is a bit too much. I love jewelry, silks, and perfumes. But it's in my passion for ocean liners, sailing ships, and yachts that I really go overboard. I love them because they're beautiful, because they're elegant, but above all, because they fire my imagination. Yes, I love to tell myself stories. And there's one that's been going around in my head for quite a while, to travel on a yacht in the company of a Greek ship owner. Well, it has come true. I'm on board the Variety Voyager. 68 meters long, 36 cabins, this sleek mega yacht is slipping smoothly through the blue waters of the Mediterranean. We all have our preconceived notions. I imagine my Greek ship owner as loud, a slight pot belly, and puffing on a big cigar and his dark glasses and tuxedo. And instead, here's Yanis. <laughs> now there's a Greek name for you, a modern, elegant businessman who loves his work. While he finishes up his meeting with the captain, I think I'll check out the Voyager, the most recent addition to a fleet that already numbers around 10 ships. A modern decor, a warm, friendly atmosphere. I think I'm going to like this. Clients actually realize by being next to a huge ship how lucky they are to be on a private yacht. The Variety Voyager is a, is a larger ship. Uh, we wanted to have a bit more cabins. We wanted the ship to be a bit faster, a bit bigger, because we operate programs that require that the ship gets a bit faster to some, to some ports. We want the ship to have a, to have a modern look, to look like, like a a modern yacht, like uh, the yachts you see in the big marinas uh, around the world. I'm quite impressed with the overall effect. A blend of power and elegance. Decks in teakwood, metallic structures, large airy spaces open onto the sea. For an instant, I even imagined that I was the only passenger on board this mega yacht, weighted on hand and foot by a crew of 30. No such luck. There are 70 other luxury lovers sharing this little paradise floating on the surface of the sea. I'll just have to grin and bear it. Luxury for, for me is uh, to offer someone a home away from home. But luxury is a word that anyone can have its own sense of luxury. So, so for someone, luxury is that we stop in bays that no big cruise ships can stop. For another person, is that the feeling of a, a small yacht. Uh, for other person, uh, the friendliness of the crew. So luxury is something very personal. I cannot answer in this question because I think this is very. There is every person has its own um, meaning of what luxury means. What's my concept of luxury? Comfortably ensconced in one of the armchairs on the upper deck, I turn this question over and over in my mind. 
It's most likely that when I'm back in my little Parisian studio apartment, luxury will take on the colors and aromas of this late Mediterranean afternoon on board the Voyager. The large white yacht spent the night in the shelter of a deep bay, a dream night. In the morning, we continue on our way. Awakened by the purring motors and the gentle rocking movement, I jump out of bed and make a beeline for the restaurant. As I take a seat at the terrace, aglow with the morning sun, I'm looking forward to a hearty breakfast. Soon other passengers make their appearance. The service is attentive, the atmosphere relaxed, almost family-like. I'm in such a good mood, I don't even notice the time slipping by. No matter. Time doesn't count when you're vacationing on a yacht. Oh, before I forget, I jot down that profound pearl of wisdom in my moleskin notepad. Luxury is being able to live without worrying about the passing of time. My stomach, however, doesn't totally agree and is telling me that it's almost time for lunch. Yanis, wearing a large smile, makes his entrance into the restaurant, closely followed by the captain, who's going to have lunch. I could almost forget that I'm a passenger. The entire crew goes all out to make you feel as if you're traveling on a private yacht. I cannot say that it's a gourmet restaurant because uh, we have a variation of the menu daily, but I can say that it's more a Mediterranean restaurant. Uh, we are having loading every week and everything is fresh. We have fresh vegetables, fruits, everything is fresh actually. We are offering a preset dinner uh, with five courses menu and the guests can relax in the restaurant, enjoy a bottle of wine and a nice dessert and a nice cappuccino. For example, in Sicily we get some wine for them or a limoncello is, a, is an after dinner drink. So definitely we are, to, we are trying to catch up with their preference and even go forward. The chef of the Voyager doesn't have the pretense of turning out five-star haute cuisine but he does know how to create authentic festive dishes by combining the colors and savors of the Mediterranean, like a dinner party among friends. What they expect from us is to provide them with excellent food. We serve our clients uh, in a luxury environment with, um, with beautiful um, flatware and beautiful silverware. But it's, it's more than that. It's able to be around them all the time. And, they, and, and this is luxury. This is why people rent yachts, uh, because they want to have a very private atmosphere. This is what we're trying to reproduce on this boat here. The rays of the setting sun flood the lounge as the Voyager pursues its route through the Mediterranean.
Shall I sleep late and have breakfast in bed? Or take a stroll through the narrow streets of this little Italian town whose name I can't recall? Well, none of the above. I'm going to take care of me and treat myself to a relaxing massage in the fitness center. I'll save the walk for when we get to Malta. Enjoying this little interlude of pleasure and well-being, the Voyager drops anchor at Malta. Jeans, sneakers, and a fanny pack. I'm going out disguised as a tourist, but incognito with dark glasses, to explore Valletta, the surprising capital of this island anchored in the middle of the Mediterranean. Now, I usually visit the boutiques rather than the museums, but I have to admit that I really enjoy myself wandering through the medieval streets of the city that was, let's see, it's here in the pamphlet I picked up at the reception desk. The city was constructed in the 16th century by the Knights of the Order of St. John of Jerusalem. At the end of my walk, I find myself at St. John's Cathedral. They say it is a masterpiece of Baroque art. Wow, I didn't even know what Baroque meant, but I do now. It means flashy. Those knights of old sure did have expensive taste. I take one last panoramic view of the city of stone, then head back to the port. It's almost time to up anchor. I'm very happy to get back to the boat, which I'm already calling my yacht. I don't know what our next destination is, and what's more, I don't even want to know. I abandon myself to the mysterious charm of chance, to the call of the horizon. A soupçon of adventure, but under the watchful eye of captain and crew.
It is a mega yacht, but she follows completely the highest standards of safety. The other ships, the big ships, they are following. We have and we follow and we comply with all SOLAS rules, having double equipment, having all safety means. It's a very good or the best combination of a mega yacht and a cruise ship. I am Greek. I have salty water running in my veins. The spirit in this ship is Greek and the hospitality is fully Greek. Swimming, massage, relaxation, cocktail, lunch, dinner. This hectic schedule suits me just fine. People spend in the cabins seven to eight hours a day, but people spend on, on the decks, on the public areas, on average 14, 15 hours. So we have actually four decks on the ship and we have cabins on three of these four decks. And we have placed the cabins in the lower deck, but also, of course, in the upper deck, depending on the quality of the cabins and, and the size of the cabin. While Yanis is vaunting the qualities of his large yacht, I'm organizing a private tour of the cabins. Obviously, it has to do with the quality interior decoration in the cabins. We always try to our people what they will find on board is a yacht kind of atmosphere and environment. And this, this is what makes, I think, our product a luxury product. The 36 staterooms measuring from 16 to 28 square meters all display a decidedly modern style. And here's my cabin. Comfortable, light and airy. Quite a change from my studio apartment in Paris with its breathtaking view on the building next door. And here is the spacious owner's suite. But as Yanis is not staying on board for very long, one of his loyal customers is enjoying it. Nice guy, huh? Living room, dining room, flat screen TV, marble bathroom. The choice of materials, the colors and the furnishings, it's all designed with modern in mind. Perhaps it's not all that original, but it fits the cut of the yacht and the taste of the international clientele. Personally, I would have preferred something a bit more imaginative, more offbeat, 
to tell Yanis that if he needs a decorator for his next yacht, I'm brimming over with ideas. It's time for my little red Moleskine notepad where I usually jot down the highlights of my trips. This time I do a few drawings and sketch some portraits. The captain, the waiter in the restaurant, my cabin attendant, a sailor, and naturally Yanis, the owner, a real family portrait. They were all there with me for the dream week I spent on board this luxury yacht. And thanks to them, I felt quite at home. If you look around on our ships, you'll see a wide variety of, uh, of clients. But all of them have one thing in common, uh, and this is the most important thing. They wanted, they wanted a private um, kind of atmosphere, a yacht atmosphere, rather than, um, than being on a big ship. Life on board is all about passengers being together. You will be surprised as how fast passengers get to know each other when they part. They will kiss goodbye, they will uh, sometimes even cry um, when they salute the crew or the fellow passengers. Because they fire my imagination. Yes, I love to tell myself stories. And there's one that's been going around in my head for quite a while. To travel on a yacht in the company of a Greek ship owner. Well, it has come true. I'm on board the Variety Voyager. 68 meters long, 36 cabins, this sleek mega yacht is slipping smoothly through the blue waters of the Mediterranean. And instead, here's Yanis. Now there's a Greek name for you. A modern, elegant businessman who loves his work. While he finishes up his meeting with the captain, I think I'll check out the Voyager, the most recent addition to a fleet that already numbers around 10 ships. A modern decor, a warm, friendly atmosphere. I admit my craze for luxury boats is a bit too much. I love jewelry, silks, and perfumes. But it's in my passion for ocean liners, sailing ships, and yachts that I really go overboard. I love them because they're beautiful, because they're elegant, but above all, because
We all have our preconceived notions. I imagine my Greek ship owner as loud, a slight pot belly, and puffing on a big cigar and his dark glasses and tuxedo. <laughs> 